Do you remember the really pushy salesperson? Long, long time ago, felt like they were twisting your arm when they were trying to get you to buy something. They may have felt intimidating because they were taller than you. They may have felt intimidated because they were louder than you. They also could have felt a little intimidating because they were basically telling you that you were dumb or you were bad if you didn't make the right decision. And of course, what was the right decision? The right decision was to put money into that salesperson's pocket. So if you didn't do that, you're dumb. You're making the bad decision. You go to a used car lot and they push you, push you, push you. They knock on your door as a, as a, as a door-to-door salesperson and they intimidate you, manipulate you in order to get the sell. And when they get the sale, when you buy, you never hear from them again. Those pushy salespeople happen to be the old way of doing things. Those pushy salespeople hardly work anymore because you and I have become too smart. So let's go back into history. Before we get to how smart you and I are, let's go back into history a little. Back in the 19, in 1900, let's call it a 120, 150 years ago, what would happen is the person who was the loudest or the biggest or the most confident would always find a way of making the other person feel awkward if they didn't do what they said. So they might have been, literally been bullying you into purchasing, or they could have had a little finesse around that, and they could have mentally bullied you around purchasing. So back then, if somebody came up to you and they're like, you need to buy this thing, you'd be like, whoa, okay, okay, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. But then something happened. What do you think happened? Something did. It happened to happen after 1900 and 1930 and 1950, And then all of a sudden, TV has all these really pushy, salesy commercials. And people start to think, I don't like this. I don't want to be forced or bullied into buying something. So what we started doing in the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s, the early 2000s, what we start doing, and I remember doing this, when we go into a car lot, we go, we are literally looking for a car. We're not dumb. We know what a car lot is meant for, but we don't want to be bullied. We don't want to be convinced. We don't want to be talked into buying a or a car that we can't afford that's going to put us into a bad position. We don't want to be manipulated anymore. So what happened in 1970, 80, 90, and the early 2000s? What started happening? What are you doing when you walk into a car lot? Eight out of 10 times, you're going to specifically get scared and yell at the person who comes to you with a smile on their face. Says, hey, what can I help you find? What do you do now? What do I do now? I go into this freeze up mode. I become too smart. I know I don't want to be manipulated. I know I don't want somebody to talk me into something I don't want. So I just say, no, I'm good. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. You go into the clothing store. Is there anything I can help you find? Nope, nope, nope. I'm just looking. Nope, thank you. I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. Because if you did it with their help, you might be talked into buying. And even if you aren't going to fall for the buying part, you don't like that high pressure, pushy sales, do you? You don't like the high pressure. You don't like that pushy sales. And I don't want you to be that person. I don't want you to be in the position where you're pissing off your customer or your client because you're so pushy. Your customer, your client has learned since, you know, 1900, 1950, 1970, 1980, the early 2000s. We have become to where we don't want to be pushed anymore. And we will do almost anything to avoid it. (laughs) 